This cable will save your life. If you're trying to hook up H1 to a DJ's mixer and every time you bring it back home or to your studio, the audio sounds messed up and distorted, it's probably because you're not hooking it up right. Connecting a H1 to a mixer can't be that difficult, right? I mean, once you've connected the RCAs to the tape out of your mixer and connected those ends to a wire splitter cable and plugged that straight into the H1, it should be all good, right? Well, it should, but it isn't. You'll now hear the actual audio recorded off the H1. Here, you'll see that when I increase the levels on my mixer, how the audio on the H1 begins to clip, and you can see that with the flashing red light. You can see the level on the H1 being at minus 12, but a slight increase in levels is close to clipping the audio, and DJs always up the audio and lower the audio, just dependent on how they mix. You can see the red light flashing on the H1, and that is 100% clipping. So as you saw and heard, that audio was pretty much screwed and your client or your band won't be that pleased if you were to give that as a final piece. So how do you fix this? With one of these. It's an adapter cable that has two female RCAs on one side and one 3.5 stereo female jack on the other side. This will let you plug in the second thing that you need, which is this, an attenuation cable. And I'll show you how to hook this all up now. Plug the RCAs coming out of the mixer into the RCA Y splitter cable and then plug the attenuation cable into the front of that wire splitter cable, which is the 3.5 jack. Then connect the other end of the attenuation cable into the H1. Now let's hear and test it. I've left the starting volume level on the mixer roughly the same as they were in the previous example. I'll gradually increase the volume just so you can see how much headroom we constantly get on H1. With the levels on the mixer fairly high, we are just hitting minus 60 B on the H1. Also, if you're hearing this with headphones, you can hear how the attenuation cable has still kept the file stereo. The input level on the H1 for this example is set at 50, so set yours dependent on your situation. If the DJ lowers the volume on his mixer to make an announcement, you can see the levels on the H1 are still quite good. Using that last method with the attenuation cable will save you a ton of grief later on. So all you need to do is buy it, plug it into your H1 and record, and everyone's happy. If you enjoyed this video and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I'll see you soon.